All right, as promised, a video on how I prep my jackfruit. So I use this uh, jackfruit from Trader Joe's and I get a couple cans of this works great for me. Uh, I'll show you how I separate it. So this is what they look like when they come out of the can. Um, and I ha I've got four different uh, piles here and I'll show you uh, I separate them okay so this is discard and I throw everything in this away or compost it um, this stuff comes straight shredded off of here so I'll pick this this part off it really looks and feels like chicken and I put this over here because I always chop these and I take the little uh, so I'll shred it like this just with my fingers and anything that easily shreds i will put over there something that looks like this this little bulb thing i, I get rid of those i suppose you probably could just chop those up i think they look a little bit weird so i don't use those so that's just hand shredded. This little bulby thing, I get rid of that. So this, what I would do is, I would take this, this main bulb thing out and I would separate this little piece and discard that and I would leave these kind of fleshier shells and then I, I'll put those in this pile here. So then I would pull off the chickeny kind of chunk and then everything else. I just shred that and that goes in that bowl. This last piece, again, I just pull, pull everything off of this, put that here to cut. This stuff shreds like so. And it looks like there aren't any, any bulbs in this piece. So this is a, a great piece because all that's shredded. Good to go. So then I just cut, chop all of these outer shell pieces here. I chop these little bits. Now I used to not use these. They kind of encase the little bulbs. And I used to not use these, but look, this is from like two cans worth. I mean, this is like a couple sandwiches for me. So I decided to at least try because it didn't feel too strange. I mean, felt okay. They weren't like those little round bulbs that were like kind of on the strange side, so. Okay, don't make fun of my chopping skills. Never went to knife school, but okay, this is how <laughs> I chop these up pretty fine. I guess it's not that fine. Chop these up. And the texture is totally fine on these. So I'll just add these to this here. And then you've got these. And I mean, these really do almost feel like chicken. And then I do the same as I just chop these. Chop these up. And then I add it to my mix. And then I put the spice rub on. And I'll show you the spice rub coming up. All right, so I have all my uh, prepared jackfruit in here and I'm just gonna put some uh, spices on here. So this, uh, I do smoked paprika. I don't measure this stuff. I just dump it on here okay to just dump stuff on okay so I got pepper 
you know, it, if you experiment with cooking, you kind of figure out what's good. And I just kind of look at it. So in this jar, I have my nutritional yeast. So I'm just sprinkling some of that on. You don't need a lot of spice. I got turmeric, just a few shakes. No stress. I don't like fussy cooking. Okay, I do kind of. Okay, so a little bit of ground chipotle. Don't put a lot of this stuff on, it's really hot. Uh, so a little bit of sprinkle. What does want to come out? Okay, there we go. So spices, and then I just toss it around. You can put whatever spices you want on here. Um, I have prepared my own barbecue sauce. You can, I mean, you can use bottled barbecue sauce, but um, whatever spices you, you want. I mean, whatever works for you. So I guess ideally have a bigger bowl than this. But anyways, look, the spices are distributed. And then I have a video on cooking the, the jackfruit, but essentially, I just uh, get a hot skillet, oil it, and then I just start sauteing this. Just fry it up like you want it to dry out. And so it's nice to have the spice rub on because you cook it for like 20 minutes, you know, without any of the sauce. So whatever, you know, spices you, you put on it, just cook into your fruit. but. There you go. So it's all spiced and then ready to go. Enjoy.